Hi, welcome uh, to, uh, I, I don't know if I, I should call this today's show. <laughs> uh, this is just a really quick video that uh, I wanted to make really about uh, Nighthawk, uh, Mike Ringley. I just got news that he has uh, passed away, that he's no longer with us. And a few days uh, before the news that he's passed away today, I don't know if it was today, maybe it was yesterday, but it's been, it's been very, very recent that he died. Uh, I had gotten wind that he was ill and that other people were running the network at the moment, which is uh, Revolution Radio at freedomslips.com. So here's a picture of Nighthawk. I believe this was uh, some promo, or I don't know when, when he first took this picture, but it's, I think he's doing Ozzy Osbourne right here. And it was uh, uh, used for um, advertisement for Hawk's Fest, which is I think the last one that they, they did there where he would um, invite people and, have them come over and hang out and play music and kind of uh, a get together for people that uh, listen to uh, to Revolution Radio. And I had been on the network for a couple of years, and Nighthawk had asked me if I would come to his place in Kentucky and perform stand up. And also, uh, Sean David Morton was invited and. Uh, I, it was a fun time, and I actually have uh, quite a bit of footage that I live streamed on uh, the Ustream channel that I should probably uh, put up so people can really appreciate it. Okay, well, that being said, uh, I just want to, as I'm speaking to you, I'm noticing a couple of things. Now, I'm, I'm, now, I'm not really super uh, familiar with Ozzy Osbourne or really much of his music, to be honest with you. I'm kind of a nerd that way. I do remember Ozzy Osbourne when he was on uh, Geraldo, when he did that show about Satanists, I think back in the 80s. And also on the panel of that show was Colonel Michael Aquino who really, I think, is strongly connected to uh, Revolution Radio, simply for, if, if, the, if you don't want to agree with me on this, well, fine, but we, there was a longtime host, which was Douglas Dietrich. Uh, my, when I was on Revolution Radio, my show was right um, before his show on Saturday night, and then I also had a Friday uh, 11 p.m. slot. And so, now, uh, Douglas Dietrich was uh, Michael Aquino's librarian, and that was uh, kind of how he came into uh, this media and really became, I, I believe, uh, I don't know if he, what other networks uh, he was on before Revolution Radio, but, uh, but I know that he was pretty much uh, a Revolution Radio guy. Then you also had uh, Michael Hemmingson who also had a connection to Michael Aquino and the Temple of Set. And then you have Christine uh, Joanna Hart, who uh, to my understanding has claimed that she was satanic ritually abused by Michael Aquino. So there's a big Michael Aquino uh, connection uh, to uh, Revolution Radio. Now, make, make of it what you will, uh, I kind of feel that it's it's pretty strong, but that's just me. But then again, I've 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 actually been a part of the uh, Revolution Radio lineup. Now I want to read something to you. This was um, posted by somebody that uh, now I thought this was more recent. It, it it sounds like when you write it that it would be uh, it would be it would be recent, right? make sure that you're seeing this hold on let me write it again okay all right here we go uh all right so it was actually written on january 15th 2015 already the owner of rev radio is sending out mass messages to the people at rr claiming that he's going to go to war with me he is under the false impression that i care about what he does the guy is just a drunk diabetic from kentucky 
he probably will not live much longer and the stress he's giving himself worrying about what I will do will only kill him that much sooner. Of the 71 hosts at RR, only the very best will be coming over to me. The rest he can have. I understand now that he served in a controlled opposition capacity. Why should this surprise anyone? We know that the top alternative networks have ties to Stratford and the CIA. People will probably say the same about me because of my past. No worries, the content will speak for itself. The biggest threat to Rev Radio is the fact that I will share my profits from the station with the host and staff. This is the only reason for Rev Radio to prop up the owner's faltering ego and to keep him in moonshine and pay for his home. Why would anybody, anyone want to subject themselves to abuse from the obnoxious drunk when they get no compensation? We are in this to make change in the world, not get rich. This is not the cause, not someone's ego. Please join us today. Now, you know, whomever sent this to me, and I'm, I, I realize they probably could, should have cropped off this part, but they said they are dead, no content. The FB page joke, is, the page is a joke. I think that person that I was talking to meant that the radio network is pretty much dead. Um, but this was written, and I, and I thought, actually that the person that i was conversing with about nighthawk actually passing away was a, was the author of this and he's not so uh you know it's not me i didn't write this about nighthawk now what i'm hearing is this is actually and i was shocked to find out that it was actually jare bear uh but i don't know i mean i can't i can't verify right now that jare bear actually wrote this but somebody who was part of revolution radio wrote this about my hawk now i can go in and talk about you know all the different things that uh night hawk did uh, that uh, to me personally that makes me think or i would say agree with the author of this but i'm not going to do that right now because i i just i don't feel like it and i've done so many different videos leading up for today and I don't want to um, shame his family. Uh, my condolences to his family and to their loss. And, uh, you know, I, uh, you know, I said a prayer for Nighthawk, Mike Ringley. Uh, and uh, and I, I wish his uh, soul well. So, uh, you know, whatever takes place in this particular reality or this particular situation and, what, and what's happening in the world. Uh, I, I do believe that uh, it's important not to hold everybody's soul in, uh, in, in captivity when we think about them. You know, to think about, oh, well, you know, they did this to me, they did that to me, they're probably Satanist. And maybe he was a Satanist. I mean, like when I looked at one of the things I wanted to say about his picture, and I'll, I'll bring it up here again, uh, he was doing Ozzy Osbourne, and again, I'm not I'm not that familiar with Ozzy Osbourne and what and what he does. But here's these the two fingers. See these fingers here? That's a victory. That's a satanic victory sign. And you know, there's a lot of people that said that that Nighthawk was a Satanist. Uh, there was a lot of if, if you look at Revolution Radio, there's a lot of talk about paganism and occult, and there are people that are flat out witches. And, it, you know, there's an, uh, you know, it's the truth media, it's UFOs, it's everything all together. Uh, do I think that Nighthawk was working for intelligence? Yes, I do. Uh, did Nighthawk show up in places that, uh, that, that I, I was shocked to see him at, like, for example, connected to Kai Irvin or connected to QAnon or, you know, seemed to be anybody who was trying to uh, go against, you know, us and, I, and when I say us, I would say myself, and uh, there was also Stephen D. Kelly involved in it too as well. Um, there was a definite, uh, there was some menacing that was taking place uh, even after we were no longer on the network anymore. Even after I was no longer on Revolution Radio, I feel like I've been in an uh, in, a, in a battle with with whatever is going on and they seem to be part of it or they've been part of it and uh that that's all i can say that's all i want to, i want to really say about it right now i don't even know how well i'm make, conveying my message uh to anybody at the moment 
I guess what I'm trying to say is I, I don't mean to shame him as a human being totally. Uh, there are good and bad qualities in all people. There were a lot of things that I liked about Nighthawk, and I do believe that he loved his family and that he has done things that um, are good too. And Revolution Radio uh, has uh, brought in a lot of truth and information, and you know, it, it's 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 good to have networks like Revolution Radio. At the same time, uh, he was working for somebody, <laughs> and I'm not sure. I mean, there were times where, you know, if, if I were murdered, uh, if, if I needed to be out of the equation or other people needed to be out of the equation, then that's just the way it was. There was, there was something about him uh, that, uh, that I, I felt it was he was a saboteur. And to what degree that, that sabotage went to, I, I couldn't say that it didn't go to death. Or that it didn't go to, to people who were connected to following through with that. But there was a, a connection to everything. And Nighthawk was somewhat connected to all of it. And still is. Or was. Because he's not here anymore. So I just wanted to say that. And, uh, you know, this is just the first thing that I'm, I, I wanted to, to talk about it right now. Uh, but I might bring this up and this conversation might continue and maybe even the way I feel about it will change uh, as time goes on. So anyways, God bless. And uh, again, my condolences to Mike Ringley's family and loved ones and people who cared about him at Revolution Radio.